what's up guys welcome back to half man up tech my name is ben your host so finally when it comes to watch os 8.1 i have some exciting news as we now have the final beta also known as the release candidate being released today and also this is not just available to developer beta testers but also if you are a public beta tester you can update to watch os 8.1 release candidate and this update comes one week after the release of watchOS 8.1 beta 4 and the update size as you can see on my apple watch series 6 here it comes in at exactly 163 megabytes and i was updating from watchOS 8.1 beta 4 now this is my apple watch series 6 that you are seeing here i've already updated it and just before we see the software changes i would like to show you some other updates that apple released today mac os 12 monterey a release candidate iOS 15.1 as well as iPadOS 15.1 release candidate and obviously watchOS 8.1 release candidate and tvOS 15.1 rc now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if you want to keep up to date with like watch os updates i've been covering for example watch os 8.1 from the first beta all the way until it's going to be released so that's what i do and if that interests you then a sub to the channel would be great now i want to show you the software changes that came with watchOS 8.1 rc so if we go into the settings and go to general and go to the about this watch section you can see the build number that we have and it's been updated to a final build so it's 19 r 570 that is the build number and just in case you want to know what we had previously on watchOS 8.1 beta 4 we had 19 r 5566 a so as you can see the a has been removed we now have a build that depicts a final version now in terms of what's new or the new features and changes that came with watchOS 8.1 the first one that i would like to show you i'll cover some that we mentioned in the release notes as you update so the first one has to do with emergency sos and fall detections during workout so if you go to your apple watch settings and go to where it says sos you notice that you have fall detection so you can see that you can uh, enable this sos by uh, holding the side button but if you go to the fall detection you can see that you have an option to allow for detection only during workouts so with watchOS 8.1 the Apple watch is able to detect when you are doing specific workouts and when you make like a hard fall it will give you the option to say whether you need to call emergency SOS or whether you are fine now this workout for detection is actually in beta testing still even though we have the release candidate of watchOS 8.1 and the reason i say this is that if you go to the beta.apple.com website and try to read about watchOS 8.1 so we'll go to watchOS 8 and you notice that if you scroll all the way down until you see for detection so it's depicted by a little sos sign and it actually says that it's not fully here and this is a feature that's most probably going to be delayed so as you can see here workouts for detection for workouts and it says that this is coming soon so we might not see it when the official version of watchOS 8.1 comes out which i'm also going to be covering here on the channel by the way i'll be letting you know when to expect watchOS 8.1 and if you take a hard fall during a workout your watch will call for help or sos and you can see it's coming soon so this is a feature that isn't fully here although it's supported with watchOS 8.1 and maybe we'll be able to toggle some settings like before you begin a workout you'll be able to have a menu where you can actually like enable for detection for a specific workout or you have to go into your for detection settings and maybe allow for specific workouts we'll see when this officially comes but that is 
what I have to show you when it comes to fault detection and that is something that has been updated with watchOS 8.1 RC. Also something that's amazing about watchOS 8.1 has to do with the wallet app. So if you use the Apple wallet app quite often like I do to pay for stuff, I just quickly access it like this, hold it near a reader and be able to make payments, uh, my boarding passes and so on. But I have some good news when it comes to like watchOS 8.1 as very soon you'll be able to add your COVID-19 vaccination records and soon like for residents of florida in the usa you might soon be able to add a qr code that we have information with your like driver's license and so not only can you add your vaccination record pretty soon but you'll be able to do or entirely get rid of your wallet all thanks to the apple wallet app so this is something that's good when it comes to the wallet app now if you are a person who does a lot of fitness workout you track your steps and so on with watchOS 8.1 this is the fitness app that i'm talking about so if you open your fitness app on the iphone and you are an apple fitness plus subscriber right here you can see that I actually have a new plus screen where I have to agree to the data management policy from Apple for this fitness plus. So if you click continue, you can see that this is basically a subscription service. And if you have subscribed to Apple fitness plus, you now know that with iOS 15.1 as well as macOS 12 and iPadOS 15.1, you can actually do share play. So if you are doing a particular or specific workout, you can actually be able to share play your workouts by means of share play that came with iOS 15.1. If you can share play from your iPad, from your Mac, and you'll be able to track your stats on your Apple Watch. So that is if you are an apple fitness subscriber so this is as far as fitness goes and if you have an older device that was having issues with always on display where for example when you lower your risk like this and your watch dims the display but the always on display is on and when you raise it up you would sometimes notice that the time takes some some time to be able to update so that issue has been addressed with watchOS 8.1 release candidate it's no longer existing and it's a bug of the past those seems to be the new changes that came with watchOS 8.1 release candidate I would like to show you the release notes here from Apple because it's actually quite interesting because right here if you go to watchOS 8.1 release notes most of the bugs that came with the beta testing so i experienced a lot of bugs where workouts were not registering my steps were not registering focus was not working like stable but you can see that the only bug that is now mentioned with watchOS 8.1 release candidate is that of core data and this is not one that you have to worry about much but all the bugs have been washed out so if you are having issues with watchOS 8.1 like beta 4 and you are on rc let me know whether most of the bugs or issues have been washed out for your particular device now i just want to see whether my maximum health capacity has decreased as it you know this is something that happens more often but you can see it was last charged yesterday at around 12 45 and i basically used it all night and right now you can see that it's 707 am so it's been a good while and as you can see my battery is on 47 percent so i would like to think that if i continue to do or to call to have the same usage i'll be able to end my day with my watch at like 10 or around 12 percent so not too bad if we go to see the battery how you can see that it's still on 91 percent it hasn't dropped i did experience a drop of about three percent in my maximum health capacity during watchOS 8.1 beta testing but coming from beta 4 to watchOS 8.1 rc you can see that my maximum health capacity has remained the same now let's talk about the release date of watchOS 8.1 because quite a number of people are very curious to know when this update is coming out so 
I want to show you something here because if you go to beta.apple.com and you go to macOS 12, you'll be able to see that with macOS 12, Apple gives you a direct uh, release date the moment you enter this so you can see that mac os 12 is going to be available on the 25th of october which is next week monday but if you go to like watch os 8 it actually doesn't give you like a release date for watch os 8.1 but we do know when this update is most likely to come out because just like Apple held an uh, event this month on uh, yesterday. Apple held an event where they introduced the third generation AirPods. And you can see here that this website mentions that these are going to be available starting the 26th of October, which is next week, Tuesday. So if you go to the learn more information or info tab about these AirPods, you will notice that I actually took a screenshot about it. So you notice that it mentions that AirPods require Apple devices running iOS 15.1, iPadOS 15.1, and WatchOS 8.1, and also as well as TVOS 15.1. This is because you can actually be able to like share your workouts, AirPlay. So you need to have WatchOS 8.1 as well as iPadOS 15.1 and iOS 15.1 in order to enjoy most of these new features and functions that came to these new airports so most likely we'll get this update next week monday when the rest of the, like other software updates that i cover like ios 15.1 mac os 12 come out in order to support or have software support for these features of products that apple released now other than that that's about it for me guys there's a ton of new features and changes that came with watchOS 8.1 that aren't mentioned that i'll cover in a later video when this update officially comes out but this is how it's been for me when it comes to watchOS 8.1 on my apple watch series 6 let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the comment section below stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace